Well, this is how tricolor works. Smoke ejects from the tricolor unit, and with the red laser behind the sash, you can see exactly how the air inside the hood is behaving. Have you ever actually seen the air as it's floating around and moving inside of your hood? Without tricolor, air is invisible. But now that you can see it, look at it. Take notes, observe it. Does the airflow seem smooth? Does the airflow seem turbulent? Is the air behaving differently on the left side of the hood than it is on the right side of the hood? What can you learn just by watching the air behavior? With the red laser, you can observe and educate yourself on what's going on with the air that's inside of the hood. With the green laser that's placed on the outside of the sash, anytime fumes or air escape the hood chamber, you'll be able to see it light up in bright green. That means that a poorly performing hood may have many consecutive green flashes, and when performing the tricolor challenges, you'll find that it's easy to pull the smoke out of the hood and for it to get exposed with the green laser. This also means that a hood that's containing well may not have any green smoke flashes at all, or just minuscule flashes of green smoke showing small micro failures. And you'll find that when testing a hood that's actually containing really well, that even when doing the tricolor challenges, <laughs> that it's hard to get the air to exit the hood and to light up green. So when you're testing a hood and it looks like this with no green smoke, that hood is performing well and will likely receive a good rating. But if you're testing a hood that has constant flashes of green smoke coming out of the hood chamber and you're having even more loss of containment when doing the tricolor challenges, you can be sure that that fume hood is not containing properly and whoever uses it will be at risk of exposure to breathing chemicals. A hood like that will fail at safety test and should be troubleshooted and repaired immediately.